What's up guys? I uh, need to finish a video that I started about six months ago. I did a YouTube short uh, a while back. Thanks to a viewer that watched that short, <laughs> he reminded me that I hadn't finished it. So, cause I, uh, I was trying to figure something out on my uh, throttle for my mud motor. This is the uh, Swamp Runner medium kit and it's the uh, 420 Predator engine. But the, uh, the wind is terrible. But anyways, the, the original throttle handle was this right here, which is well built. I mean, it's a very good, good quality handle. But it, the way it was, it kind of set on an angle. And uh, it was it was hard for me to hold and steer and throttle all at the same time. So I came up with a little remedy about that. The first time I used it, I thought, you know, I gotta come up with something different. It was just so uncomfortable. I got small hands. So I got to looking around. I've had several weed eaters in the past, used to do a lot of lawn care. And I had this laying around. I thought, well, let me try it and see if I can get it to work. And it works like a charm. I mean, it's easy to hold, easy to, to steer and hold a constant uh, pressure on the throttle. With that one there, I was always run, run. I couldn't really get a constant pressure and, and steer all at the same time. So uh, let, me, uh, let me show you what I did here. I used the original cable and all I did was let me come around here and I'll show you. All I did was take part of my weed eater shaft and I measured me a piece out and I come back about two inches past where the handle is to give me a little room. And this uh, swamp runner kit, yeah, that's my uh, remove before flight. Anyway, keep even running into it. But the swamp runner kit, the shaft on it here is bigger around and it gets smaller from about right here out to the end. It's a smaller diameter. And uh, this weed eater shaft is an echo shaft, echo throttle, fits right up on this shaft right here. And it, and it, it fits perfect over it, but it wouldn't really tighten up too good. So what I had to do, I don't know if you can see it or not. Maybe you can see it. I put a slit right there and I just put a little slit in it with my Dremel tool. That's what I cut this off with, my Dremel tool. And put this hose clamp on it right here. And it tightened it down and it is, it is rock solid. It's not going anywhere. And uh, I took the cover off. The, uh, that's the way it looks when it's all together. But I took this off where you can see the inside of it. The cable hooks in right here. And then, like I said, this is the original throttle cable. And, and it works perfect. The Predator engine, it doesn't really take a lot of travel to get it. Uh, you know, I don't run it wide open because the tail will try to jump up out of the water, you know, three quarters throttle, whatever. And what I had to do, the uh, up here, the cable runs out of the shaft. You can see it down here. It runs out of the shaft. And it used to run right up through here. And I had to reroute the cable and I just ran it around here. I tried a couple different ways to get it to fit right. And I run it right around here and it runs up into here. That's my kill switch. So, don't pay, or actually that's my battery for my later start there, it's my battery, but don't pay any attention to the wires here. But it runs up and it co connects right here and this clamp holds the cable in, in place and it connects right here to the throttle. As you can see the cable, maybe right there's the cable and it connects to the throttle. And let me throttle it up here. And it, it works flawlessly. It took me a little bit to get it, you know, figured out how much travel I needed in it, you know, to get it tight. I had to tighten this down pretty good. It works great. I uh, hadn't had any, I've had it on the river two or three times so far now. Hadn't had any trouble with it. Like I said, if you've ran a mud motor like this, uh, you know that it's kind of hard to hold and and throttle all at the same time. And you know, cause you got to steer it, you got to drive this thing. It ain't gonna drive itself. And 
this original throttle is i mean it's well built it's good quality but just the way it swooped down you know and until i find something different this is what i'm gonna be using if this one breaks you know i'll go buy one if i have to and let me show you this right here the weed eater you put all this together and this part here it's got a safety thing on a weed eater you know you have to push that down in order to pull the trigger so once you take this apart you can take that mechanism out it just pops right out it just keeps the trigger from it, it just keeps you from mashing the trigger so you take that out and uh it works fine i kind of boogered that up a little bit i grind it down a little bit but anyway it's it's a lot more comfortable to hold than the original in my opinion but yeah get you a weed eater shaft and a weed eater throttle now you're gonna need the shaft you know to put it on it, it would fit on this original shaft but it wouldn't really fit like i wanted it to that's why i just done this right here so but you you may not even need this piece of uh weed eater shaft but you could uh you know just play around with it and you can make it work it's, it's not that difficult to to put together like i say you had to reroute the cable because it made the cable a little longer from the original so but yeah we're great and uh i want to thank a viewer named nate he's the one that asked me about it and i i totally forgot all about it so uh, that's the that's the update on my uh echo we get a throttle it works like a charm i believe that's it for today appreciate y'all watching we'll see y'all soon